hey, so I'm not gonna let a silly little thing like you guys not being allowed in the school building to stop me from giving the presentation that I was gonna give you guys today on theme, okay? So uh, watch this video and we're gonna go through this slide and we're gonna have a better understanding at what theme means uh, by the time this is over, okay? So what exactly is theme? Well, theme is the main topic or message of the story. The theme of a story can be a single word like love, death, survival, and friendship. And as we're going through these, think of some stories that maybe you've read or heard recently and see if you can think of what the theme might be. It might be one of these examples I just gave you. The thing about theme is it can also be a sentence or a phrase. It doesn't just have to be a single word like the examples I just gave you on the last slide. The theme of a story could also be something like never judge a book by its cover, good versus evil, slow and steady wins the race, or hard work pays off. And these are just some examples. There are dozens of more examples of what a theme could be of a story. Uh, but just remember, it could either be a short phrase or a sentence like these examples or a single word like death, love, things like that. OK, so I'm going to show you guys a video. And as we're watching this video, I want you to think about which theme could best describe the video. OK, I will have four different options. A is good versus evil. Death. Friendship. Or survival.
this what about this oh no 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 i was never gonna replace you see <sighs> I can't jump to conclusions like that. All right. So after watching the video, go ahead and pull out your ELA spiral notebook and underneath where we did our work uh, last time you were in class, I want you to write video one. Okay, that was the first video we watched. So video one, and then write down underneath that, which theme you think best describes that video. Good versus evil, death, friendship, or survival. We are not gonna go over the answer yet. I just want you to write it down so that when we get back to class, next time I have you in class, we can go over the answer and have a discussion about it. All right. And we are going to go on to the next video. Feel free to pause this if you need more time to write down your answer to the last video. Uh, but again, we've got the same options for this next video we're going to watch. Good versus evil, death, friendship, or survival. <laughs> I just love that one. Does that remind you of a certain Disney movie maybe? Hmm. I don't know. All right, so after watching that, out of these four different options, go ahead and for video two in your spiral notebook, write down which option is the best way or the best theme to describe that video. Good versus evil, death, friendship, or survival. All right.
Now, it is super important not to confuse theme with a summary, okay? So a summary, that's a brief statement of the main points of a story. It's how you would, to it's how you would describe a story that you saw, like the videos we just watched or maybe something you read. It's how you would describe that to a friend, maybe in like 30 seconds. So when I learn, I like to hear examples of, of, of the new thing that I'm learning. So an example summary that I wrote of the video that we first watched of that guy in his refrigerator, if I were to describe that story to a friend of mine, maybe, I would give them a summary, something like this. So it says, a guy thinks his fridge is getting old because the handle falls off and the fridge thinks the guy is going to replace him with a new fridge. The fridge runs away and the guy finds him and shows that he was never gonna replace the fridge. He was just going to replace the handle. So notice how I don't give you every little detail of that story. I just give you a few sentences about the main things that happened in that story, okay? And then again, that's very different than the theme. The theme of that same video with the guy in his refrigerator is friendship. Very different than what a summary is. You wouldn't describe that video to a friend as saying friendship, because that doesn't really give the, the guy you're explaining it to very much of an idea on the events of the story. That's how a theme is different. The theme is either that single word or a really short phrase, um, such as friendship, that you would use to describe the story, okay? So we're gonna do one more practice. So this is our third and final video. And I'm not gonna give you guys options on this one. So as we're watching this last video, I want you to write down what you think the theme of the video is. It might be one of the options that I've given you before, or it might be a new option. So you might need to really think about what the theme of this video might be. After you uh, figure out what the theme is, then I want you to write a summary. Underneath that should be about five sentences long, um, and you're going you're gonna to write a summary for the video, okay? So think about what that theme is, and then afterwards you'll write a summary. This is our last video and it is a sad one. Oh, that one just gets me every time. So sad. Um, so after watching that now in your writer's notebook for video three, write down what you think the theme of the video is and then also write down a five sentence summary. So we will obviously talk more about this in class next time I see you guys, but I hope this helps you understand what theme means and how it's different than summary. That's really important to know the difference there. So anyway, that's it. I am looking forward to seeing you guys hopefully early next week.